Turkic peoples. The Turkic peoples are a collection of ethno-linguistic groups of Central, Eastern, Northern and Western Asia as well as parts of Europe and North Africa. They speak related languages belonging to the Turkic language family. They share, to varying degrees, certain cultural traits, common ancestry and historical backgrounds. In time, different Turkic groups came in contact with other ethnicities, absorbing them leaving some Turkic groups more diverse than the others. Many vastly differing ethnic groups have throughout history become part of the Turkic peoples through language shift, acculturation, intermixing, adoption and religious conversion. In their genetic compositions, therefore, most Turkic groups differ significantly in origins from one group to the next. Despite this, many do share, to varying degrees, non-linguistic characteristics, including certain cultural traits, some ancestry from a common gene pool and historical experiences. The most notable modern Turkic-speaking ethnic groups include Turkish people, Azerbaijanis, Uzbeks, Kazakhs, Turkmen and Kyrgyz people. The first known mention of the term Turk, Pinyin, Tuju, Middle Chinese, applied to a Turkic group was in reference to the Gokturks in the 6th century. A letter by Ishbarakagan to Emperor Win of Suai in 585 described him as the Great Turk Khan. The Orhan inscriptions use the terms Turk and Turek. Previous use of similar terms are of unknown significance, although some strongly feel that they are evidence of the historical continuity of the term and the people as a linguistic unit since early times. This includes Chinese records spring and autumn annals referring to a neighboring people as Beatty. During the 1st century CE, Pomponius Mela refers to the Turkey in the forests north of the Sea of Azov, and Pliny the Elder lists the Turkey among the people of the same area. There are references to certain groups in antiquity whose names could be the original form of Turk slash Turk such as Togarma, Turika, Turiska, Turaku and so on. But the information gap is so substantial that we cannot firmly connect these ancient people to the modern Turks. Turkologist Andras Ronatas posits that the term Turk could be rooted in the East Iranian Saka language or in Turkic. However, it is generally accepted that the term Turk is ultimately derived from the old Turkic migration term Turk, Turuk which means created, born, or strong, from the old Turkic word root Turi, Turi ancestry, take shape, to be born, be created, arise, spring up, and conjugated with old Turkic suffix, perhaps from Proto-Turkic Turi K, from the Proto-Turkic word root Tor, possibly from a Proto-Altaic source T apostrophe O Re. This etymological concept is also related to old Turkic word stems Tor, Turi, Toru and Ta. The earliest Turkic-speaking peoples identifiable in Chinese sources are the Dingling, Gakun, and Xinli, located in South Siberia. The Chinese Book of Joe presents an etymology of the name Turk as derived from Helmet, explaining that this name comes from the shape of a mountain where they worked in the Altai Mountains. According to Persian tradition, as reported by 11th century ethnographer Mahmud of Kashgar and various other traditional Islamic scholars and historians, the name Turk stems from Tur, one of the sons of Japheth. During the Middle Ages, various Turkic peoples of the Eurasian steppe were subsumed under the identity of the Scythians. Between 400 CE and the 16th century, Byzantine sources use the name Sigma Kappa Theta Alpha Iota in reference to 12 different Turkic peoples. In the modern Turkish language as used in the Republic of Turkey, a distinction is made between Turks and the Turkic peoples and loosely speaking, the term Turk corresponds specifically to the Turkish-speaking people while the term Turkey refers generally to the people of modern Turkic republics. However, the proper usage of the term is based on the linguistic classification in order to avoid any political sense. In short, the term Turkey can be used for Turk or vice versa. It is generally agreed that the first Turkic people lived in a region extending from Central Asia to Siberia, with the majority of them living in China. Historically they were established after the 6th century BCE. The earliest separate Turkic peoples appeared on the peripheries of the late Kshinu Confederation about 200 BCE. Turkic people may be related to the Kshinu, Dingling and TL people. According to the Book of Wei, the TL people were the remnants of the Chidi, the Red Dee people competing with the Jin in the spring and autumn period. Turkic tribes such as the Khazars and Pechenegs probably lived as nomads for many years before establishing the Turkic Khaganate or Gokturk Empire in the 6th century. These were herdsmen and nobles who were searching for new pastures and wealth. The first mention of Turks was in a Chinese text that mentioned trade between Turk tribes and the Sogdians along the Silk Road. The first recorded use of Turk as a political name appears as a 6th century reference to the word pronounced in modern Chinese as Tuju. 
The Ashina clan migrated from Liyin to the Wanwan seeking inclusion in their confederacy and protection from the prevalent dynasty. The tribe were famed metalsmiths and were granted land near a mountain quarry which looked like a helmet, from which they were said to have gotten their name. A century later their power had increased such that they conquered the Wanwan and established the Gok Empire. Turkic peoples originally used their own alphabets, like Orkan and Yenisei runiforms, and later the Uyghur alphabet. Traditional national and cultural symbols of the Turkic peoples include wolves in Turkic mythology and tradition, as well as the color blue, iron, and fire. Turquoise blue is the color of the stone turquoise still used in jewelry and as a protection against the evil eye. It has often been suggested that the Kshinu, mentioned in Han dynasty records, were proto-Turkic speakers. Although little is known for certain about the Kshinu language, it seems likely that at least a considerable part of Kshinu tribe spoke a Turkic language. However, some scholars see a possible connection with the Iranian-speaking Sakas. Some scholars believe they were probably a confederation of various ethnic and linguistic groups. Genetics research in 2003 on skeletons from 2,000-year-old Kshinu necropolis in Mongolia found some individuals with DNA sequences also present in some modern-day Turks, suggesting that a Turkish component had emerged in the Kshinu tribe at the end of the Kshinu period. In 2009, Archaeologists found Turkic baubles which are 2,000 years old. Ref name equals http colon slash slash www.tika.gov.tr slash n slash news slash tika underscore supports underscore archaeological underscore digs underscore and underscore Kazakhstan 19,322 slash ref. According to another archaeological and genetic study in 2010, the DNA found in three skeletons in 2,000-year-old elite Kshinu Cemetery in Northeast Asia belonged to C3, D4 and R1A. The evidence of paternal R1A supports the Kurgan hypothesis for the Indo-European expansion from the Volga steppe region. The R1A was found in Kshinu people and the present-day people of Central Asia. Analysis of skeletal remains from sites attributed to the Kshinu provides an identification of dolichocephalic mongoloid, ethnically distinct from neighboring populations in present-day Mongolia. Kshinu writing, older than Turkic, is agreed to have the earliest known Turkic alphabet, the Orkan script. This has been argued recently using the only extant possibly Kshinga writings, the rock art of the Yinshan and Helan Mountains. It dates from the 9th millennium BCE to the 19th century and consists mainly of engraved signs and few painted images. Excavations done during 1924-1925 in Noinula Kurgans located in the Salanga River in the northern Mongolian hills north of Ulaanbaatar produced objects with over 20 carved characters, which were either identical or very similar to the runic letters of the Turkic Orkan script discovered in the Orkan Valley. The Hun hordes ruled by Attila, who invaded and conquered much of Europe in the 5th century might have been Turkic and descendants of the Kshinu. Some scholars regard the Huns as one of the earlier Turkic tribes, while others view them as Proto-Mongolian in origin. Linguistic studies by Otto Menkenhelfen and others have suggested that the language used by the Huns in Europe was too little documented to be classified, but may have been an Indo-European language. Nevertheless, many of the proper names used by Huns appear to be Turkic in origin. In the first half of the first millennium, mass migrations to distant places were common. Geographical borders were fluid and cultural identity was more likely to change dramatically during the lifetime of an individual, relative to the modern era. These factors also made it more likely that the Huns were, initially at least, closely related to the Turkic peoples. In the 6th century, 400 years after the collapse of northern Kshinu power in Inner Asia, the Gok Turks assumed leadership of the Turkic peoples. Formerly in the Kshinu Nomadic Confederation, the Gok Turks inherited their traditions and administrative experience. From 552 to 745, Gok Turk leadership united the nomadic Turkic tribes into the Gok Turk Empire on Mongolia and Central Asia. The name derives from Gok, blue or celestial. Unlike its Kshinu predecessor, the Gok Turk Khanate had its temporary Khans from the Ashina clan who were subordinate to a sovereign authority controlled by a council of tribal chiefs. The Khanate retained elements of its original shamanistic religion. Tengriism, although it received missionaries of Buddhist monks and practiced a syncretic religion. The Gok Turks were the first Turkic people to write Old Turkicina runic script, the Orkan script. The Khanate was also the first state known as Turk. It eventually collapsed due to a series of dynastic conflicts, but many states and peoples later used the name Turk. Turkic peoples and related groups migrated west from Turkestan and present-day Mongolia towards Eastern Europe. 
the Iranian plateau in Anatolia in many waves. The date of the initial expansion remains unknown. After many battles, they established their own state and later constructed the Ottoman Empire. The May migration occurred in medieval times, when they spread across most of Asia and into Europe and the Middle East. They also took part in the military encounters of the Crusade. Later Turkic peoples include the Karluks, Uyghurs, Kyrgyz, Oghuz Turks, and Turkmen. As these peoples founded states in the area between Mongolia and Transoxiana, they came into contact with Muslims, and most of them gradually adopted Islam. Small groups of Turkic people practice other religions, including Christians, Jews, Buddhists, and Zoroastrians. Turkic soldiers in the army of the Abbasid Caliphs emerged as the de facto rulers of most of the Muslim Middle East, particularly after the 10th century. The Oghuz and other tribes captured and dominated various countries under the leadership of the Seljuk dynasty and eventually captured the territories of the Abbasid dynasty in the Byzantine Empire. Meanwhile, the Anise Kyrgyz allied with China to destroy the Uyghur Khaganate in 840. The Kyrgyz people ultimately settled in the region now referred to as Kyrgyzstan. The Bulgars established themselves in between the Caspian and Black Seas in the 5th and 6th centuries, followed by their conquerors, the Khazars who converted to Judaism in the 8th or 9th century. After them came the Pashanegs who created a large confederacy, which was subsequently taken over by the Cumans and the Kipchaks. One group of Bulgars settled in the Volga region and mixed with local Volga Finns to become the Volga Bulgars and what is today Tatarstan. These Bulgars were conquered by the Mongols following their westward sweep under Genghis Khan in the 13th century. Other Bulgars settled in southeastern Europe in the 7th and 8th centuries, and mixed with the Slavic population, adopting what eventually became the Slavic Bulgarian language. Everywhere, Turkic groups mixed with the local populations to varying degrees. In 1090 to 91, the Turkic Pechenegs reached the walls of Constantinople, where Emperor Alexius I with the aid of the Kipchaks annihilated their army. As the Seljuk Empire declined following the Mongol invasion, the Ottoman Empire emerged as the new important Turkic state, that came to dominate not only the Middle East, but even southeastern Europe, parts of southwestern Russia, and northern Africa. The Delhi Sultanate is a term used to cover five short-lived. Delhi-based kingdoms three of which were of Turkic origin in medieval India. These Turkic dynasties were the Mamluk dynasty, the Khalji dynasty, and the Tuflak dynasty. Southern India, also saw many Turkic origin dynasties like Bamani Sultanate, Adil Shahi dynasty, Bidar Sultanate, Kutub Shahi dynasty, collectively known as Deccan Sultanate. In Eastern Europe, Volga Bulgaria became an Islamic state in 922 and influenced the region as it controlled many trade routes. In the 13th century, Mongols invaded Europe and established the Golden Horde in Eastern Europe, Western and Northern Central Asia, and even Western Siberia. The Cuman Kipchak Confederation and Islamic Volga Bulgaria were absorbed by the Golden Horde in the 13th century. In the 14th century, Islam became the official religion under Uzbek Khan where the general population as well as the aristocracy came to speak the Kipchak language and were collectively known as Tatars by Russians and Westerners. This country was also known as the Kipchak Khanate and covered most of what is today Ukraine, as well as the entirety of modern-day southern and eastern Russia. The Golden Horde disintegrated into several Khanates and Hordes in the 15th and 16th century including the Crimean Khanate, Khanate of Kazan, and Kazakh Khanate which were one by one conquered and annexed by the Russian Empire in the 16th through 19th centuries. In Siberia, the Siberian Khanate was established in the 1490s by fleeing Tatar aristocrats of the disintegrating Golden Horde who established Islam as the official religion in western Siberia over the partly Islamized native Siberian Tatars and indigenous Uralic peoples. It was the northernmost Islamic state in recorded history and it survived up until 1598 when it was conquered by Russia. The Shagatai Khanate was the eastern and southern Central Asian section of the Mongol Empire in what is today part or whole of Tajikistan, Afghanistan, Turkmenistan, Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, Kyrgyzstan, and Xinjiang. Like the Mughalistan and Golden Horde, the Shagatai Khanate became a Muslim state in the 14th century. The Timurid Empire were an Uzbek-based Turkic empire founded in the late 14th century by Timurlan, a descendant of Genghis Khan. Timur although a self-proclaimed devout Muslim, brought great slaughter in his conquest of fellow Muslims in neighboring Islamic territory and contributed to the ultimate demise of many Muslim states, including the Golden Horde. The Mughal Empire was a Turkic-founded Indian Empire that, 
at its greatest territorial extent, ruled most of the South Asia, including Afghanistan, Pakistan, India, Bangladesh and parts of Uzbekistan from the early 16th to the early 18th centuries. The Mughal dynasty was founded by a Shagatai Turkic prince named Babur, who was descended from the Turkic conqueror Timur on his father's side and from Shagatai, second son of the Mongol ruler Genghis Khan, on his mother's side. A further distinction was the attempt of the Mughals to integrate Hindus and Muslims into a united Indian state. The Safavid dynasty of Persia were of mixed ancestry. Through intermarriage and other political considerations, the Safavids spoke Persian and Turkish, and some of the Shahs composed the poems in their native Turkish language. Concurrently, the Shahs themselves also supported Persian literature, poetry and art projects including the Grand Shah Nama of Shah Tamasp. The Safavid dynasty ruled parts of Greater Iran for more than two centuries, and established the Twelver School of Shia Islam as the official religion of their empire, marking one of the most important turning points in Muslim history. The Afsharid dynasty was named after the Turkic Afshar tribe to which they belonged. The Afshars had migrated from Turkestan to Azerbaijan in the 13th century. The dynasty was founded in 1736 by the military commander Nader Shah, who deposed the last member of the Safavid dynasty and proclaimed himself king of Iran. Nader belonged to the Karaklu branch of the Afshars. During Nader's reign, Iran reached its greatest extent since the Sassanid Empire. The Muslim Karakhanid Turks performed a mass conversion campaign against the Buddhist Uyghur Turks during the Islamicization and Turkicization of Xinjiang. The non-Muslim Turks' worship of Tungri was mocked and insulted by the Muslim Turk Mahmud al-Kashgari, who wrote a verse referring to them, The infidels may God destroy them. The Basmil, Yabaku and Uyghur states were among the Turkic peoples who fought against the Karakhanid spread of Islam. The Islamic Karakhanids were made out of Tukai, Yagma, Sijil, and Karlik. Kashgari claimed that the Prophet assisted in a miraculous event where 700,000 Yabak infidels were defeated by 40,000 Muslims led by Arslan Tijin claiming hat fire shot sparks from gates located on a green mountain towards the Yabak. The Yabak were a Turkic people. The Muslim Karakhanid Turk Mahmud Kashgari insulted the Uyghur Buddhists as Uyghur dogs and called them tats, which referred to the Uyghur infidels according to the Tuxi and Takma, while other Turks called Persians tat. While Kashgari displayed a different attitude towards the Turks diviners' beliefs and national customs, he expressed towards Buddhism a hatred in his divan where he wrote the verse cycle on the war against Uyghur Buddhist. Buddhist origin words like Toyn and Berksin or Ferksin had negative connotations to Muslim Turks. Professor James A. Millward described the original Uyghurs as phenotypically Mongoloid until they began to mix with the Tarim Basin's original, Caucasoid inhabitants, such as the Tikarians and Eastern Iranian peoples. The Uyghurs of the Kocho and Turfan, whose ancestors had adopted the Buddhism of the Tikarians when they settled in the Tarim, were forcibly converted to Islam during a Ghazat by the Shagatai Khan Khizr Khwaja. After they had converted to Islam, subsequent generations of Uyghurs came to believe, falsely, that the infidel Kalmuks had built Buddhist monuments in the area. The Buddhist murals at the Biziklik Thousand Buddha Caves were damaged by local Muslim population whose religion proscribed figurative images of sentient beings. The eyes and mouths in particular were often gouged out. Pieces of some murals were broken off for use as fertilizer by the locals. The Arab Muslim Umayyads and Abbasids fought against the pagan Turks in the Muslim conquest of Transoxiana. The Muslims built ribbits against the non Muslim Turks in Transoxiana. The medieval Arabs recorded that medieval Turks looked strange from their perspective and were extremely physically different from the Arabs, calling them broad faced people with small eyes. Medieval Muslim writers noted that Tibetans and Turks resembled each other and often were not able to tell the difference between Turks and Tibetans. The Ottoman Empire gradually grew weaker in the face of poor administration, repeated wars with Russia and Austro-Hungary, and the emergence of nationalist movements in the Balkans, and it finally gave way after World War I to the present-day Republic of Turkey. Ethnic nationalism also developed in Ottoman Empire during the 19th century, taking the form of Pan-Turkism or Turanism. The Turkic peoples of Central Asia were not organized in nation-states during most of the 20th century, after the collapse of the Russian Empire living either in the Soviet Union or in the Chinese Republic. In 1991, after the disintegration of the Soviet Union, five Turkic states gained their independence. These were Azerbaijan, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Turkmenistan, and Uzbekistan. Other Turkic regions such as Tatarstan, Tuva, 
and Yakutia remained in the Russian Federation. Chinese Turkestan remained part of the People's Republic of China. Immediately after the independence of the Turkic states, Turkey began seeking diplomatic relations with them. Over time, political meetings between the Turkic countries increased and led to the establishment of Turksoy in 1993 and later the Turkic Council in 2009. Turkic ethnic groups are prominent in the world today and there have been Turkic nations in the past. The modern list includes The historical list includes The origins of the Huns, Tuoba, and Kshinu are unknown but may be of Turkic ancestry. Many of the Turkic peoples have their homelands in Central Asia, where the Turkic people settled from China. According to historian John Foster, the Turks emerged from among the Huns in the middle of the 5th century. They were living in Liang territory when it began to be overrun by the greater principality of Wei. Preferring to remain under the rule of their own kind, they moved westward into what is now the province of Gansu. This was the territory of kindred Huns, who were called the Ruran. The Turks were a small tribe of only 500 families, and they became serfs to the Ruran, who used them as iron workers. It is thought that the original meaning of Turk is helmet, and that they may have taken this name because off shape of one of the hills near which they worked. As their numbers and power grew, their chief made bold to ask for the hand of a Ruran princess in marriage. The demand was refused, and war followed. In 546, the iron workers defeated their overlords. Since then, Turkic languages have spread, through migrations and conquests, to other locations, including present day Turkey. While the term Turk may refer to a member of any Turkic people, the term Turkish usually refers specifically to the people and language of the modern country of Turkey. The Turkic languages constitute a language family of some 30 languages, spoken across a vast area from Eastern Europe and the Mediterranean, to Siberia and Western China, and through to the Middle East. Some 170 million people have a Turkic language as their native language, an additional 20 million people speak a Turkic language as a second language. The Turkic language with the greatest number of speakers is Turkish proper, or Anatolian Turkish, the speakers of which account for about 40% of all Turkish speakers. More than one-third of these are ethnic Turks of Turkey, dwelling predominantly in Turkey proper and formerly Ottoman-dominated areas of Eastern Europe and West Asia, as well as in Western Europe, Australia and the Americas as a result of immigration. The remainder of the Turkic people are concentrated in Central Asia, Russia, the Caucasus, China, and Northern Iraq. At present, there are six independent Turkic countries, Azerbaijan, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Turkmenistan, Turkey, Uzbekistan, there are also several Turkic national subdivisions in the Russian Federation including Bashkortostan, Tatarstan, Chavashia, Kakassia, Tuva, Yakutia, the Altai Republic, kabardino bakuria and karachay ebo Cherkassia. Each of these subdivisions has its own flag, parliament, laws, and official state language. The Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region in Western China and the Autonomous Region of Gagazia, located within eastern Moldova and bordering Ukraine Edo the north, are two major autonomous Turkic regions. The Autonomous Republic of Crimea within Ukraine is the home of Crimean Tatars. In addition, there are several communities found in Iraq, Georgia, Bulgaria, the Republic of Macedonia, Tajikistan, Afghanistan, and Western Mongolia. The Turks in Turkey are over 60 million to 70 million worldwide, while the second largest Turkic people are the Azerbaijanis, numbering 22 to 38 million worldwide, most of them live in Azerbaijan and Iran. Turks in India are very small in number. There are barely 150 Turkish people from Turkey in India. These are recent immigrants. Descendants of Turkish rulers also exist in northern India. Mughals who are part Turkic people also live in India in significant numbers. They are descendants of the Mughal rulers of India. Karlu Turks are also found in the Haraza region and in smaller number in Azad Kashmir region of Pakistan. Small amount of Uyghurs are also present in India. Turks also exist in Pakistan in similar proportions. One of the tribe in Hazara region of Pakistan is Karlu Turks, which is direct descendant of Turks of Central Asia. Turkish influence in Pakistan can be seen through the national language, Urdu, which comes from a Turkish word meaning horde or army. The Western Uyghur, at Gansu in China, Salar at Qinghai in China, the Dolgan, at Krasnoy Arskkrai in Russia, and the Nagai at Dagestan in Russia are the Turk minorities in the respective regions. File map Turksoy members. PNG vertical bar thumb vertical bar right vertical bar upright equals 0.9 vertical bar map of 
Joint Administration of Turkic Arts and Culture Vertical Bar Turksoy, Members There are several international organizations created with the purpose of furthering cooperation between countries with Turkic-speaking populations, such as the Joint Administration of Turkic Arts and Culture, and the Parliamentary Assembly of Turkic-speaking Countries. The newly established, Turkic Council, founded on November 3, 2009 by the Nakhchivan Agreement Confederation, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, and Turkey, aims to integrate these organizations into a tighter geopolitical framework. The Tekm Dash Organization of the Eurasian Law Enforcement Agencies with Military Status, established on January 25, 2013. Fa Bashkar in Paris.jpg Vertical Bar Upright equals 0.9 Vertical Bar Thumb Vertical Bar Bashkars, painting from 1812, Paris. The distribution of people of Turkic cultural background ranges from Siberia, across Central Asia. To Eastern Europe. The largest groups of Turkic people live throughout Central Asia, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, and Azerbaijan, in addition to Turkey and Iran. Additionally, Turkic people are found within Crimea, Altashar, region of western China, northern Iraq, Israel, Russia, Afghanistan, and the Balkans, Moldova, Bulgaria, Romania, and former Yugoslavia. A small number of Turkic people also live in Vilnius, the capital of Lithuania. Small numbers inhabit eastern Poland and the southeastern part of Finland. There are also considerable populations of Turkic people in Germany, United States, and Australia, largely because of migrations during the 20th century. Sometimes ethnographers group Turkic people into six branches, the Oka's Turks, Kipchak's Vertical Bar Kipchak, Karluk's Vertical Bar Karluk, Siberia in, Chuvash People Vertical Bar Chuvash, and, Saka Language Vertical Bar Saka slash Yakut, branches. The Oka's have been termed Western Turks, while the remaining five, in such a classificatory scheme, are called Eastern Turks. Much of the Turkic population of Central Asia has significant Caucasoid and Mongoloid ancestry. The genetic distances between the different populations of Uzbeks scattered across Uzbekistan is no greater than the distance between many of them and the Karakalpaks. This suggests that Karakalpaks and Uzbeks share very similar origins. The Karakalpaks have a somewhat greater bias towards the eastern markers than the Uzbeks. Historical population. The Turkic people display a great variety of ethnic types. They possess physical features ranging from Caucasoid to Northern Mongoloid. Mongoloid and Caucasoid facial structure is common among many Turkic groups, such as Chuvash people, Tatars, Kazakhs, Uzbeks, and Bashkars. The following incomplete list of Turkic people shows the respective groups' core areas of settlement and their estimated sizes. This list includes dependent territories within their list of sovereign states vertical bar sovereign states, but does not include a claims on Antarctica. Is plus TA is exclusive economic zone plus, list of countries and outlying territories by total area vertical bar total internal area, which includes land and internal waters. File code XQ Manicus 58.jpg vertical bar thumb vertical bar upright equals 0.9 vertical bar right vertical bar A page from, code XQ Manicus vertical bar code XQ Manicus. The, codex, was designed in order to help Catholic, missionaries, communicate with the, Cumans vertical bar cumans. The Turkic alphabets are sets of related alphabets with letters, used for writing mostly, Turkic languages. Inscriptions in Turkic alphabets were found in, Mongolia. Most of the preserved inscriptions were dated to between 8th and 10th centuries CE. The earliest positively dated and read Turkic inscriptions date from circa 150, and the alphabets were generally replaced by the, Old Uyghur alphabet, in the Central Asia. Arabic script in the Middle and Western Asia, Greek-derived, Cyrillic, in Eastern Europe and in the Balkans, and, Latin alphabet, in Central Europe. The latest recorded use of, Turkic alphabets vertical bar Turkic alphabet, was recorded in Central Europe's Hungary in 1699 CE. The Turkic, Old Turkic alphabet vertical bar runiform, scripts, unlike other typologically close scripts of the world, do not have a uniform, paleography, as for example, have the Gothic language vertical bar Gothic runes, noted for the exceptional uniformity of its language and paleography. The Turkic alphabets are divided into four groups, 
The best known of them is the Orkin script vertical bar Orkin version of the Inisei group. The Orkin script is the alphabet used by the Gok Turk S from the 8th century to record the Old Turkic language. It was later used by the Uyghur Empire. A Yenisei variant is known from 9th century Kyrgyz people vertical bar Kyrgyz inscriptions, and it has likely cousins in Talas Valley of Turkestan and the Old Hungarian script of the 10th century. The Turkic language family is traditionally considered to be part of the proposed Altaic languages vertical bar Altaic language family. The various Turkic languages are usually considered in geographical groupings, the Oghuz languages vertical bar Oghuz languages, the Kipchaks vertical bar Kipchak languages, the Eastern languages, the Northern languages, and one existing Ogre languages vertical bar Ogre language, Chuvash language vertical bar Chuvash. The high mobility and intermixing of Turkic peoples in history makes an exact classification extremely difficult. The Turkish language belongs to the Oghuz subfamily of Turkic. It is for the most part mutually intelligible with the other Oghuz languages, which include Azerbaijani language vertical bar Azerbaijani, Gagaz language vertical bar Gagaz, Turkmen language vertical bar Turkmen, and Urim language vertical bar Urim, and to a varying extent with the other Turkic languages. Markets in the steppe region had a limited range of foodstuffs available, mostly grain s, dried fruit s, spices, and tea. Turks mostly herded sheep, goat s, and horse s. Dairy was a staple of the nomadic diet, and there are many Turkic words for various dairy products such as suit, ya, iron, kamek vertical bar kaimak, kumis vertical bar chimizi, and grit. During the Middle Ages, Kazakh cuisine vertical bar Kazakh, Kyrgyz people vertical bar Kyrgyz, and Tatar cuisine vertical bar Tatars, who were historically part of the Turkic nomadic group known as the Golden Horde, continued to develop new variations of dairy products. Nomadic Turks cooked their meals in a Kazan vertical bar Kazan, a pot similar to a cauldron, a wooden rack called a Gazkan can be used to prepare certain steamed foods, like the traditional meat dumplings called Mandi vertical bar Mandi. They also used a saj, a griddle that was traditionally placed on stones over a fire, and skewer vertical bar shish. In later times, the Persian tava was borrowed from the Persians for frying, but traditionally nomadic Turks did most of their cooking using the kazan, saj and shish. Meals were served in a bowl, called a shinak, and eaten with a knife and spoon. Both bowl and spoon were historically made from wood. Other traditional utensils used in food preparation included a thin rolling pin called oklaghu, a colander, called susku sh, and a grinding stone called tagerman. Medieval grain dishes included preparations of whole grains, soups, porridges, breads and pastries. Fried or toasted whole grains were called ka or mac, while kocha was crushed grain that was cooked with dairy products. Some were broad, noodles, that could be served with boiled or roasted meat. Cut noodles were called tutmaj in the Middle Ages and are called ksa today. There are many types of bread doughs in Turkic cuisine. Yufka vertical bar yupka is the thinnest type of dough. Baursak vertical bar bawirsak is a type of fried bread dough. And shalpik vertical bar chalpak is a deep fried flat bread. Katlama is a fried bread that may be sprinkled with dried fruit or meat, rolled, and sliced like pinwheel sandwiches. Tokch and Chirak, are varieties of bread, and, barrettes vertical bar barak, is a type of filled pie, pastry. Herd animals were usually slaughtered during the winter months and various types of sausages were prepared to preserve the meats, including a type of sausage called, sujuk. Though prohibited by, halal vertical bar Islamic dietary restrictions, historically Turkic nomads also had a variety of, blood sausage. One type of sausage, called, kaz vertical bar kauti, was made from horse meat and another variety was filled with a mixture of ground meat, offal, and rice. Chopped meat was called quaima and spit roasted meat was sock lunch from the root sock meaning to tear off, the latter dish is known as, kebab, in modern times. Kaverma vertical bar kaverma, is a typical fried meat dish, and, kulama, is a soup of noodles and lamb. Filekazil shaman.jpg vertical bar thumb vertical bar upright equals zero dot seven vertical bar right vertical bar a shaman doctor of Kizil. Pre-Islamic Turkic mythology was dominated by Tengrism and Shamanism in Central Asia vertical bar shamanism.
The chief deity was Tungri, a sky god, worshipped by the upper classes of early Turkic society until Manichaeism was introduced as the official religion of the Uyghur Empire. In 763. The gray wolf vertical bar wolf symbolizes honor and is also considered the mother of most Turkic peoples. Asena is the wolf mother of Tumanil Kagan, the first Khan of the Gokturks. The horse and bird of prey vertical bar predatory birds, such as the eagle or falcon, are also main figures of Turkish mythology. File Pavlidar Moskia. JPG Vertical Bar Thumb Vertical Bar Left Vertical Bar Upright equals 0 0.7 Vertical Bar Mosque, in Kazakhstan. Tungri Bogu Khan made the now extinct Manichaeism, the state religion of Uyghur Khaganate, in 763 and it was also popular in Karluks. It was gradually replaced by the Mahayana Buddhism. It existed in the Buddhist Uyghur, Jecheng, up to the 12th century. Tibetan Buddhism, or Vahayana, was the main religion after Manichaeism. They worshipped Buddha Vertical Bar Tari Teresi Berkson, Guanyin Vertical Bar Quancy M. Pusar, and Mitreya Vertical Bar Maitri Berkson. Turkic, Muslim conquest in the Indian subcontinent, and West, Xinjiang, attributed with the rapid and almost total disappearance of it and other religions in North India and Central Asia. The Uyghur Vertical Bar Sari Uyghurs, Yellow Uyghurs of Western China, as well as the Tuvans and Altai People Vertical Bar Altai of Russia are the only remaining Buddhist Turkic peoples. The Krimshaks of Eastern Europe are Jewish, and there are Turks of Jewish backgrounds who live in major cities such as Istanbul, Ankara, and Baku. The Crimean Karaites Vertical Bar Khazars widely practiced Judaism before their conversion to Islam. Even though many Turkic peoples became Islam vertical bar Muslims, under the influence of Sufis, often of Shia persuasion, most Turkic people today are Sunni Muslims, although a significant number in Turkey are Alevis. Alevi Turks, who were once primarily dwelling in eastern Anatolia, are today concentrated in major urban centers in western Turkey with the increased urbanism. The major Christian Turkic peoples are the Chuvash people vertical bar Chuvash of Chuvash Republic Vertical Bar Chavashia, and the Gagaz People Vertical Bar Gagaz of Moldova. The traditional religion of the Chuvash People Vertical Bar Chuvash of Russia, while containing many ancient Turkic concepts, also shares some elements with Zoroastrianism, Khazar, Judaism, and Islam. The Chuvash converted to Eastern Orthodox Christianity, for the most part in the second half of the 19th century. As a result, Festivals and rites were made to coincide with Orthodox feasts, and Christian rites replaced their traditional counterparts. A minority of the Chuvash still profess their traditional faith. Church of the East was popular among Turks such as the Naimans. It even revived in Jiechong and expanded in Xinjiang in the Yuan Dynasty period. It disappeared after its collapse. Fal Catch the Girl. JPG Vertical Bar Thumb Vertical Bar Kais Ku. The Kais Ku. Dash it has been played by Turkic people at festivals since time immemorial. The Jerid Dash horses have been essential and even sacred animals for Turks living as nomadic tribes in the Central Asian steppes. Turks were born, grew up, lived, fought, and died on horseback. So became Jerid the most important sporting and ceremonial game of Turkish people. The Buzkashi vertical bar Kokbur began with the nomadic Turkic peoples who have come from farther north and east spreading westward from China and Mongolia between the 10th and 15th centuries. The Vijit Vertical Bar Jijit, which is used in the Caucasus and Central Asia to describe a skillful and brave equestrian, or a brave person in general. Images of Buddhist and Manichaean Turkic Uyghurs from the Biziklik Thousand Buddha Caves Vertical Bar Biziklik Caves, and Mogao Caves Vertical Bar Mogao Grottoes. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.